Uh, I am Upal Parna De, and good morning to everybody from Kolkata. Today I am here on Bringu's uh, talk to speak about awareness on child abuse, which is an impending, crucially impending social issue in our times. So I thank uh, Bringu's Academy, which is a brilliant platform and a virtual one, which offers career profiling, mentoring, and holistic development to give me this opportunity. I would like to start sharing with you by saying the fact that I myself am a victim of, uh, I would rather call myself a survivor of child abuse. And uh, I finally gathered up the courage to write about it when I, uh, in some time in 2017. And uh, I am on a continuously, continuous strive to raise awareness and uh, to help people, to help children who have faced abuse in their lives. <clears throat> I was touched around six and I gathered the courage to speak about it many, many years after that. While abuse have left me disturbed for many years, it also took me another couple of years to finally understand the trauma, uh, accept it, overcome it, and uh, talk and heal from it. So I would, however, like to mention that here I'm, when I'm talking about child abuse, I'm not talking about rape because rape would uh, definitely take a different time slot and a different kind of uh, research to be spoken about. We'll do it some other time, I am sure. And uh, as we all know that uh, child abuse has uh, adverse effects on the psychological, physical, behavioral, and interpersonal well-being of the child. <clears throat> Why I would rather prefer to call each and every child a survivor because being called or made to feel like a victim would never enable to, you know, uh, to help them or to uh, bring them out of the uh, wounds or the trauma that they are going through. It is very important for, uh, again, parents and teachers to teach children about good touch and bad touch. Children are the most precious gifts of God and the... Uh, it is our responsibility to protect and save their innocence and future. And uh, parents can start, how can parents can start about talking about uh, abuse to children, small children. So parents can start with, uh, by telling stories, to, uh, by telling the children the importance of body parts to story, to story play activities or storytelling. You know, these kind of activities will give, will come into a, come into like a natural flow instead of like, uh, being a forceful one. The point is, we all know about the harm child abuse can do, is doing, and uh, but yet we are not willing to proactively speak about it. News, facts, research shows that India is one of the leading countries and has the highest numbers of children who are victims of abuse. That is only the numbers we know of. While laws are there and they are tried, they are implemented to protect children and punish, punish the abuser, there are many loopholes, unfortunately, in our system which deny the rights of a child. In the, in the tussle between social taboos, addressing mental and physical well being, law and human rights, the children often are lost amidst darkness. So one of the crucial issues, again, I think is uh, social taboos. Uh, there is kind of like hush, 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 hush. It should not be spoken about. It should not be told to people. It should not be this. It should not be that. That should be just, 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 just done away with because that's a very bad uh, very bad thing and leaves a very negative impact on the child for the rest of his or her life. So it is very important because children are unable to share their feelings, children are unable to express exactly, know, understand what physical touch is all about and what harm it can do to them. So it actually harms their uh, growth, inner growth, physical, mental, and uh, of course, uh, there are 
they are very they get into depression they get into they have slow self esteem so these things are need to be addressed very carefully by parents and teachers because again hushing it shoving it uh, shoving a topic like this under the table will not help at any cost it will only lead to further harm for the child it is vital for parents and again teachers to watch out for behavior and physical changes very much minutely address them immediately and support them during the healing process child abuse is a malice that kills like slow poison i'm sure we again all understand that uh, silence is one of the prime advantages as i said some time back for the abuser and unfortunately again many of the members uh, many of the abusers are members of the family or close neighbors so it is uh, we trust upon them very easily we let um, we we trust uh, we let our children play with them we let our children so of course that trust trust needs to be built up of course the children should be taught to mingle around with others mingle because children live in very isolated families um, uh, so they should they should learn how to express themselves but at the same time while they are building up their relationship with people outside their homes and uh, but then definitely that again needs to be addressed whether they can speak or whether they can express whether they have been touched whether they have been uh, have been molested in some way or the other while the child will not know what complications physical touch can do or physical abuse can bring the te- teachers and parents definitely know what it is all about so why the silence and why would we allow the children to die a child to die a silent death we should first of all and proactively again and again and again help them to speak help them to express themselves watch if they are feeling lonely if they are de- detaching themselves from friends or detaching themselves from common conversations in the home and of course enable them to identify the user uh, child abuse can be prevented through education which is again a very very important part because the more we help children to learn about uh, the damages of child abuse the damages what uh, in uh which part of the body should not be allowed to, to be touched by others and so it's always a continuous slow in a very soft uh, soft process it should not be a very harsh hard process that again uh, teaching them through a harsh process holding them or hitting them will again lead to only further damage so for and foremost and always all through children from very basic levels uh, be it in rural areas be it in um, in the city levels should be uh, taught about uh, child abuse and of course equally parents uh, uh, the community should understand that uh, a person or an abuser who is uh, actually abusing a child is not mentally stable so it is important again for us to break the silence and give children a better life i would like to in my conversation my uh, my share your story by giving to the academy over here and uh, i thank them again for giving me this opportunity to speak to you if you have any questions and uh, if you have any kind of queries i offer uh, mentoring for uh, abuse or uh, any other kind of depression related uh, coun- uh, counseling and also uh, i am teaching uh, soft skills like communications and things like that so you find my profile on ringus academy and i think uh, sharing your story uh, is a brilliant platform is a brilliant opportunity to speak up to finally know that being a victim of child abuse is not a crime it's uh, you can only uh, come out of it by encouraging others to speak more about it and uh, that would be all for today thank you so much everybody for hearing me out thank you